Hello everybody, welcome to today's center. And so for today's center, we're doing art. And we were reading Dear Juno. So in Dear Juno, I remember after Juno got the letter from his grandma, he wanted to send her a letter back. And do you remember what he sent her? Let's look and see. Because I remember he sent her these drawings. He sent these three drawings. His parents at his house. He sent a drawing of his dog, Sam, under a tree. And he also sent a little drawing of himself under an airplane to go and ship to his grandma. So the different drawings that Juno drew were called still lives. So a still life is a drawing or a painting of an object that you see in real life. So today for our center, we're gonna be drawing our very own still lives. So I have a piece of paper and I have a pencil. You can also use paper and marker, paper and crayon, a canvas and paint, whatever you have available, you can use to draw the still life. So, I think the most common still lives that I see are fruit, bowls of fruit. So I'm gonna draw this bowl of fruit right here. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a little oval. I'm gonna start off with the bowl by drawing an oval just like this. I didn't finish it though. Whoops. And then I'm gonna draw a half a circle at the end of the bowl and connect it to the top of the two ovals, just like that. So I start off with the oval and then the half a circle. Now our bowl is done. And now we have to draw the fruit in the bowl. My favorite fruit are bananas, so I want to start off with the bananas. <laughs> now, bananas have a really fun shape. They're kind of similar to a crescent moon. So I'm just going to draw three objects or figures that just look like crescent moons and bunch them together with a stem up top. And we got our bananas. Now what's left? I see one apple and two oranges. I'm going to draw the oranges next because I also love oranges. I'm going to draw one circle and then another circle behind it for the two oranges. They don't have a stem, so I'm just going to leave them like that. And the last fruit that I'm gonna draw is the apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, they say. But for the apple, I'm gonna draw a circle, but I'm also gonna draw a stem because they have stems. And that's what makes it different than the orange. And there you go. This is my still life drawing. You don't have to draw a bowl of fruit. You can draw whatever you feel like it. And this was today's centers. All right, Jumpstart friends, we are wrapping up today's session. I hope you had so much fun. First things first, let's put our thinking caps on and think back to what your favorite part of today's session was. We did so many different things. We got to learn about postcards and how mail gets different places. We got to learn that with me, Miss Sophia, and Miss Rebecca. You got to talk about still life paintings with Miss Naughty, and maybe you got to draw or paint one. And friends, you got to read our book, Dear Juno, with Miss Daniela. I know those are so many different fun things that we got to do, but I want you to try and think of just one that you really, really liked to do. So you can go ahead and turn a friend, a family member, a sibling, a caretaker, a teacher, or if you do not have anyone with you, you can shout out to me what your favorite part of today's session was. So go ahead, take a few seconds and think. And once you have it, tell that person what your favorite part of today's session was.
Okay, Jumpstart friends, that was a little bit of time that you got to share. And if you're not done sharing after this video, you can keep on sharing away. So friends, um, next time we are together, we're going to be reading a book called Raccoon on His Own about a raccoon who gets separated from his family. Oh no, he looks a little sad in this. But if you want to know how he finds his family again, you are going to have to wait until next week and read it with us. So I hope you're ready to read Raccoon on His Own with me and my Jumpstart friends. I will see you guys then.